Star Wars Outlaws is dog shit. All right, now that that's out the way, <laughs> let's react to the official story trailer. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. It looks like it should be in a D and D game, not Star Wars. Crimson Dawn, Hut. It's a golden Dirty. for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy. Evil white man, don't tell Uki. It's an opportunity to make millions. Okay, Vess. She looks odd. She looks weird. She looks. She doesn't look anything like the actual person. The underworld's favorite. If they can make, uh, what's he called, Galen Marrick Mar Mar from Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, that was a 2008 game. If they can put him in a 2008 fucking like what was it, like a PS2, PS3 game, then they can put the actual woman in a PS5 game. Come on. She looks, this look, this is like a Venezuelan younger, like 20 year old Kathleen Kennedy slash Han Solo if they had a love child. New we need it last. What do you want? Oh, another Zero bad Rich. white boy. Their new white boy? White boy. And lethal. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune. It's a very fancy outfit for someone who should be in <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Why Han Solo there? What's with that? Oh wait! Isn't the Han Solo, isn't that the Jabba the Hutt, like the DLC, where you have to spend like an extra $30, $40 or something? And it's like a $110 game just to get that DLC. You get like the one mission DLC and then skins and a season pass. Why do you need a season pass for a story game? It's stupid. Oh, isn't that the, the voice from Assassin's Creed, uh, you wanna survive? the recent one that came out? You're new to this world. Come back when you're not. They force pushed her out that door. Holy shit, you see that? Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we do to survive. This job is my one shot. Hang on a minute. Have to to survive. This job. <sighs> Why the fuck is she riding on a fucking what is that? A 1970s Honda motorcycle in Star Wars: The Future. Job is my one shot at free. It's literally it's literally a 1970s Honda motorcycle without wheels. What the fuck, man? Right. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the outer rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The outer rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of it's the kind of looking uncharted. There, I contracted to. Uh, to live free. Two. So what? Okay. Grapple hook. Hold on, Dick. Scooters. Motorbike. Star Wars Outlaws pre order available now. I feel like there was a scene in here. Wasn't there like a weird. Wasn't there like a parkour scene or something? Yeah, this part. This bit here. Dude, it's fucking, it's Uncharted 4 modded into, a, it's got a, it's a Star Wars mod, Uncharted 4, anyways, I'm not buying this game, <laughs> I can't anyways, it, it doesn't come out on PC, it's console only I believe, and I wouldn't pay the ridiculous prices for it anyways, have you seen the prices for this game, let's bring up the prices real quick, oh you can get it on PC digital, okay okay okay, I thought it was, holy shit dude, £115, and that's for the unlimited edition, or a fourteen ninety nine monthly subscription. Oh wait, you can't see it. I'm in the way. How's that? How's how's this? Yep. Okay, I'm out the way. <laughs> right there. Look at that, dude. Fucking four hundred one hundred and fifteen pounds for a fucking game, an unlimited edition. Doesn't make sense. Okay, so for a standard edition, what do you get? Base game. Pre-order bonus. Okay, so the pre-order bonus for fifty nine ninety nine. 
you get a cosmetic pack for your speeder. So if you don't want it to look like a 1970s Honda motorcycle, you can get a different you can get a different skin for it. Cosmetic for the Trailblazer spaceship. So the thing that looked like a pair of binoculars, you can get a skin for that. How good is that? For sixty pounds, you can get two skins. Wow! And then the gold edition. The gold edition for ninety-five pounds. Base game, the pre-order bonus. So the skin for the motorbike and the binoculars. Three day early access. Wow! And what else do you get? A season pass. What do you get in the season pass? The Star Wars Outlaw season pass includes two DLCs that will release. So you, so when you buy this game, if you buy the standard edition, you don't get the entire game. You only get some of the game, and if you want to get the rest of the game, you have to get this season pass to get the two DLCs. What do you get in the DLCs? Uh, keep exploring the world of Star Wars Outlaws with all new stories, quests, and areas to discover. The Jabba's Gambit. So that's the uh, that's the Han Solo part of the game with the shitty gags and the and the force pushes coming from from the mob characters. You know, exclusive mission available at launch. The Kessel Runner character pack, featuring additional cosmetics. So you get so it's two DLCs. You get. A Han Solo reference mission, and whatever this mission is, it's so you can get a skin for ninety-five pounds. But wait, there's more. The unlimited edition base game, pre-order bonus, three days early access, season pass, and rogue in infiltrator bundle. Oh, skins? You mean I can get more skins? The Rogue Infiltrator Bundle, including cosmetics for K, Nyx, the Speeder, and the Tailblazer Spaceship. Sabak Shark Bundle. What is this? The Sabak Shark Bundle includes cosmetics for K and her Blaster, Nyx, the Speeder, and the Tailblazer Spaceship. And a digital art book. So it's spent from £60 for some of the game, £95 for the game. £115 for the game, digital art book, and skins. Or for only £14.99 a month. That's right, a £14.99 month membership. You can get the entire thing. As if it wasn't bad enough already. They do, they do this dog shit. This is the. Is, I, I swear this was like this was like the main problem with the game itself, the cost of it, and then the main character. She doesn't look like the actual actress that's doing. Well, she doesn't look like the actual person, which is weird because there's old games that have people in the game and it looks just like them, but in this game it doesn't look anything like her. It's kind of weird, strange. But the main problem is is honestly just the pricing. It's ridiculous for what. You buy the game, and you get a bunch of skins. Oh, and a digital art book. Because, you know, nobody's going to buy this and then leak the digital art book on the internet. And then it'll be on the internet forever, for free. I don't get it. Uh, it's so stupid. Uh, even, if I, even if I was going to buy this game, I wouldn't anyways. Like, I, could, I would rather just save this money and buy something else that I could actually... That would actually like have fun playing, you know. Like, I really want to play Helldivers. I really want to play Dying Light too. I want to play Elden Ring, you know. I want to play like a Dark Souls game. I've never played a Dark Souls game. I'd rather buy them. <laughs> I've never played any of the Fallout games, so I'd rather buy one of them and play that instead. I mean, you know, I'd rather do that. So it is what it is, guys. But this is honestly ridiculous. Something needs to change here with the pricing, because the pricing is ridiculous. I remember when you got a good game, like, I'm talking like the original, like the Modern Warfare 2 on PS3 for £60 and that was expensive as it was already at the time, but you got a game, you got an actual good game, you know, an actual good story to it with everything already in there and then everything else that came for it, like all the DLCs, that was added stuff, that was actually new stuff, it wasn't something that they made and then we went, let's make this a DLC instead and, just, and then just started picking it apart. You know, like it was an actual full complete game for £60. 
and now it's like you want the full game, you want the full thing. 95 to 120 pounds, that's what you need to spend if you want an entire game now. It's so stupid, man. Well, anyways, this this is... This is this is a reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe, it's free. And I'll see you guys in the next one.